Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ines Lea from CraterGalaxy.com and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to export without a background and the correct way behind it. So if you're in a composition and you have an animation or an image, uh, logo, whatever you have there, um, you can toggle on this layer here and you can see that it's actually a transparent background when you don't have a background imported in your composition. Even if you choose a different color, it will always render out without that background. So if you render this, it will have a black background. So if you want the background in the first place, what you need to do is create a new solid layer. But, and then if we toggle these switches, nothing is happening. So you're 100% sure that you will have a background when you're exporting your video. So let's delete that. We want to export without a background. So we're going to toggle the switches or actually, um, I just want to mention that you don't need to toggle these to render. It's even in this composition while seeing the background, it will still export without a background. So what I like to do is add it to the media encoder or just add it to the render queue. It's completely up to you. Let's add it first to the render queue. And here we can click on the lossless or whatever you have here. Change the format to QuickTime. Go into the format options and choose either if you have Apple ProRes 444 uh, is actually a uncompressed or barely compressed codec. So I would highly suggest you uh, to use this one. But if you don't have that, you can always use PNG. And the most important thing here is channels RGB plus alpha. You have to make sure that you have a codec that supports the RGB alpha. Either animation also supports it or ProRes 4444. Click OK, export it. The second way is in media encoder. And here also change it to a QuickTime. Open the presets and choose Apple ProRes 4444 with alpha. Make sure that right here in the depth, you can choose the alpha. If you want more colors, if, if you have a gradient look or a very detailed photo, I would suggest you to use 16 bits per channel. But as we only have one color, eight bits is perfect. Now, if we want to re-import both of these video clips in Adobe After Effects, you will see that the first one that we exported actually still has, actually still has the original background we gave it and that red color. But if we're going to import these, you can see that both of these actually have a transparent background. We can go here, change the background. without a problem. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also subscribe to this channel for more and also check out our website, creatorgalaxy.com. We offer a bunch of awesome things for any digital creator and it helps to support this channel. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.